Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Thursday, the 17th of December, 2020. Please keep in mind, you guys, that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and it is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? Alright, you guys, so let's see what messages and energies we have coming through here. For Thursday, the 17th. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, guys. Thank you, angels. Ascended Masters. Okay, come on. It's <laughs> too many of you guys. All right. All right, so we have Trapped in Fear. All right, my guides tell me to pull another one. Rest and rejuvenate. Okay. All right, what do we need to know? Thursday, the 17th. Creative wonderment. Follow your passion. All right. All right, Spirit, what do we need to know? Thursday, the 17th of December, 2020. What messages do you have for us? Eight of Cups. Boy, I tell you what, the Eight of Cups has been coming up a lot. The Chariot. Five of Swords. Seal. The Fool. Five of Cups. Two of Swords, King of Swords, and we have the Hanged Man, okay? So we have The number 55, the number 88, 55, 88, you guys. Uh, go and Google the angel number, meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation, okay? All right. So we have Trapped in Fear. Okay. You know, if this is energy you've been feeling, you know, feeling limited, restricted, feeling like you're just trapped, okay? You can't move forward, you can't you, you can't move sideways, you just don't know what to do. You're stuck, okay? It's going to be very important that you ground yourself and you face the fears here of doubt whatever is causing this energy it's it's going to be important that you get to the root of it because this is self-sabotage you guys okay you can really um you can really hurt yourself in in this energy right here when we're talking about missing opportunities or you know when you get stuck and stagnant it's like you just stand still but life is just moving all around you okay and you're missing everything. You're missing it all. 
I feel like somebody literally feels like they have, they're in a hole and they've been trying to dig their way out of it and the hole is just getting deeper, okay? It's just getting deeper. That's how somebody feels. I'm getting an energy of desperation, depression. This is like a true meltdown right here. I mean, mentally, emotionally, and physically. You may, you know, whoever this energy is for, you may need to seek out some type of uh, medical help, okay? There's nothing wrong with getting help. There's nothing wrong with, you know, having, you know, a meltdown, okay? People get so caught up in thinking that um, they don't want people to know that they're having problems or they think it's wrong or there's something wrong with you. And I'm going to tell you something. We all have meltdowns. We all have, you know, different times in our life when we deal with depression and stagnation. You know, we're human, okay? But it's how you choose to deal with it is what's important, okay? Are you going to allow it to keep you stuck and just keep digging that hole deeper? Or are you going to seek out some help from some professionals, okay? Sometimes people need a, a little bit of a push, you know, especially when we're talking about depression. Um, and you... If just talking doesn't help, you know, you may have a chemical imbalance. You may, you know, you may, may need to be on a medication for a couple of months until you get over this hump and then they can, you know, wing you off of it. This may energy, this makes me really sad right here. Really sad. I can just feel someone's desperation and pain right here. Possibly even suicidal. Bless your heart. I'm here. I feel like this is going to be for maybe one or two people. You guys, you can always email me at hiddentruthtarot at gmail.com, you guys. And, you know, I may not answer it that day, but, you know, put 911, you know, if, if this is you having these energies and, and dealing with suicidal thoughts, okay? Um, reach out, if not to me, reach out to, to someone that, that can help you, okay? Remember, you're not alone. Okay, you may be right now, but there are many, many, many people that are willing to help you, okay, get through whatever it is that you're going through that has caused this type of energy, okay, whew, boy, that's heavy, heavy hitter right there, you guys, all right, so we have rest and rejuvenate coming up here. I love it. You know, there's a blessing that comes with this energy right here, you guys. This is definitely talking about you need to take time out to refill your cup and rejuvenate yourself and make sure you're rested because you have something coming from the universe, all right? You have gifts, blessings, opportunities, and you need to make sure that you are ready for them, okay? You know, um, I'm getting that energy of good karma again coming in here. Just good luck, a, a shift in energy, and it's ushering in change, and blessings are going to start unfolding in your life, and you're going to have to be on, on your feet. I'm ready to go, okay? I feel like it's going to happen quickly. It's going to show up out of nowhere, you guys. All right, so we have creative wonderment. Follow your passion. All right. You guys, some of you, you know, it's going to be important that you go with what makes you happy. You know, what you 
what you're passionate about, especially when we're talking about a career or a business opportunity, okay? If you've recently lost a job, if you are unemployed at this time, this is the perfect time here for you to really dive deep and figure out what it is that you truly want out of life and figure out the steps you can take to be able to move in the direction that is going to get you closer to achieving that goal. See, it used to, you know, I, I feel like for some of you, you had a job and you're like, well, I can't do what I want because, you know, I'm, I work all the time. Well, I feel like that you have now, you have lost your job or you've quit your job or you're, you know, you're just in between right now, okay, laid off. And now is the time. Now is the time to take action. Now is the time to do it. Same with this energy right here. We have the Eight of Cups with the Five of Cups, okay? That Five of Cups is loss, disappointment, okay? Loss of a job, loss of a business. Maybe it was a loss of a loved one. Maybe this was a divorce, a breakup. I do feel for many of you it was a loss of a, a job. And this is you choosing to see the opportunities that are still available to you, okay? This is you choosing to use this as an opportunity to better your situation in your life. So you're changing direction right here. And these eight cups, you know what's in them, and it's no longer serving you. And, you know, what's crazy about this, I love it, how it adds up. The five cups here, three are spilt, two are standing. You have eight standing cups right here. You have ten cups standing between both of these energies. That's an ending. There is an ending here of what this was, okay? You're going after your ninth cup right here. Your wish fulfillment, your vision, your dream. This is you going after what you're passionate about. For many of you, it's going to require you to step outside of your comfort zone, be courageous, and have the spirit of perseverance running within you and through you in order to get it done. But you have all that within you. You have so much inner strength that I don't even know if you know how much you have. Okay, I don't think you guys realize how powerful you are. Remember, endings bring about opportunities. And even if it's an ending that is, like I said, like a breakup, a divorce, um, a loss of a job or a business, you guys, everything happens okay for a reason that was not meant for you that, that wasn't your destiny okay and I think you already know that you realize that it's just difficult at this time I mean we're in holiday season and many of you are really struggling because of the situation of what's going on in the world today, okay? But I want you guys to know it's going to get better, okay? Very quickly. You have the chariot, the energy of cancer, with the two of swords. This two of swords is that energy of, you know, you feel stuck. There's so many energies here talking about stuck and stagnation, okay? You need to make a decision. You already know what decision, you know, you need to make. You already know. And Spirit is at telling you right here, take the blindfold off. Go ahead and stand in your truth. Make the decision. Stand in it and move forward. And that wall is going to be lifted. And what's going to happen here is you're going to break free, okay, from being at a crossroads. You're going to move forward triumphantly, successfully, towards your goal, towards your life purpose, your destiny. 
the chariot is all about success, having inner strength, and having so much willpower. You know, so much willpower that you can bring opposing forces and energies together at your will. Okay? That is amazing. You know where you're going. You know what you want. But you, okay? But you got to make the decision to do it, to go after it. You're going after your happiness right here. I'm also seeing that a few of you, um, Friday or Saturday, you're going to be uh, going and picking out a vehicle, okay? A car. Some of you guys might be having a hard time making a decision what kind of vehicle you want. You may have several that you really like and it's hard to uh, choose. <laughs> Now we have the Five of Swords, okay, with the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy right here, male or female. This is arguments, disagreements, conflicting interests here. I tell you what, whatever the, the conflict was, you've had enough. <laughs> I mean, you literally, you've had enough. I feel like for some of you, you have released and let go of some people, some situations. Um, you've, you've decided to cut some people off, plain and simple. They didn't have your back. They didn't have your best interest at heart. And you was like, I'm done. I'm done. I've got to do what's right and what's just for me at this time. I'm also seeing a conflict here that could be legal. Okay? One of you may be um, having to get a lawyer, all right? I'm, I'm seeing a lawyer situation here. This could be some conflict about not maybe the money or not having enough money to be able to, to get the lawyer with, okay? I see you using your mind your, your intellect, along with your intuition, to be able to figure out what to do here, okay? I want you to also know that you are protected. I'm, you know, Archangel Michael is with you, okay? Whoever this message is for, you may have recently gotten to tr some trouble. You may have got a DUI. Um, you've had some type of conflict with the law, okay, is what I'm getting. And you're going to have to come up with an attorney and some money. Now, if that situation is yours, you guys, listen. If you are driving under the influence, then that's a sign that you need to get some treatment, okay? Help yourself. Go, go and put yourself in somewhere, okay? And... I feel like that might help you with your court situation, with, you know, your fines or what it is that you need to pay. Um, you may even be able to get an attorney that is willing to work with you because they're seeing that you're willing to help yourself, all right? A lot of times, you know, you guys, if you're not showing you're not helping yourself, then, you know, people are not going to want to help you. Okay, because it's going to be a waste of time and energy and just, you know, air. And so show you love yourself. Get yourself some help here. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of clarity and truth as well that's coming through here. This could be for one of you, you know, that did get a DUI or gotten in some type of situation here legal okay and uh, this may be the where you've had an awakening that aha moment where you've realized oh my goodness I have a problem okay it's like it's just now dawning on you sometimes it takes something very serious in order for someone to wake up okay so look at it as, 
as a blessing as well. And you guys, I know this is uh, for Thursday, the 17th, but if you do go out with friends, drinking, partying, you guys make sure you have a designated driver, okay? For this weekend and every every time you do that okay you don't ever want to be behind the wheel you're not only putting your life in danger but you're putting other people's lives in danger as well somebody needed to hear that all right we have the fool okay and we have the hanged man i tell you what he's <laughs> stuck stagnant again but you're breaking free here okay this is where mystical empowerment is gained this is where the light bulb is coming on this is where you're seeing what you need to do differently how you can change things how you can move things around that's going to benefit you okay right here you are releasing you're purging you're letting go of anything or anyone that is no longer serving you because you are ready to take a leap of faith you are ready to start a new journey a new beginning you believe in yourself, you're trusting in spirit, you know your guides got your back, and your angels are with you. So it's up to you to take that leap. And you're ready. This is you preparing yourself right here. This is you getting to the bottom of whatever it is you need to get to the bottom of, what you need to, to figure out, what you need to plan, what you need to release, let go of, what you need to do, period. Okay? This is a breakthrough. This is a breakthrough right here. And you know what? You deserve this new beginning. Alright you guys, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment you guys. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye everyone.